how are you doing? I actually made you some pancakes, so I really hope you're hungry because this is another what I eat in a week video since you are loving them so much. And I love them too because here we have learned that it is not about what goes inside of us that makes us who we are, makes us good, or makes us beautiful or perfect or have a wonderful, amazing life. It's about what comes out of us. And the more that we love and take care of our body from a place of inner rest and inner peace, we find that healthy living is actually fun and enjoyable. And it's really not so much about the food that we eat or the workouts that we do, but who we are. But for a long time though, I tried to take care of myself from the outside in. I never took the time to ask myself, what if I don't need a diet to tell me the way to go? What if I don't need to give up every single food that I love and enjoy? What if there is more to life? Where would we be without GPS? I think we can all say that we would be lost quite literally without it. We love to look to a map. We love to look to something or someone to tell us where to go and what to do. And for so many years, I looked to extreme diets and restrictive meal plans and over exercise to get me to where I wanted to go. And I was so focused on getting there that on the way I lost who I was. And the more I tried to follow this map for my outside, the more lost that I felt on the inside. And I just want you to know that there is a better way to go. And if you feel lost and if you feel like you're going in circles, it doesn't have to be this way for one more day. And so for many years, I struggled because I thought that that was the way that I had to go. I thought that I had to follow these maps. I thought that I had to go this way. And the more that I tried to follow, the more confused that I became and the more that healthy living became something that really sucked the life out of me. It didn't add life to me. It became a dread rather than something that I enjoyed. It became a got to, not a get to. And I have come to learn through that that there really is no place place for harsh, restrictive, intense rules in a really healthy, balanced life. What I want room for is grace and love and giving myself the permission to grow and to take care of myself in a way that is healthy from the inside out rather than just from the outside in. Is it here? Is it all right? If I got to know you better. I don't need a map to tell me what I already know, what you already know, that healthy living is not supposed to be restrictive and that we cannot expect or even try to fix ourselves from the outside in, that real health comes from the inside out. What if we focused more on what comes out of our mouth rather than what we put into our mouth? Yeah, you stole it. 
I mean, imagine what your life would be like if you focused more on the words that you spoke over yourself. Because I'll tell you what will change you more than an intense workout or following a super intense eating program is speaking kindly to yourself and giving yourself grace and realizing that what God says about you and over you is true and walking in that and actually believing that you were created for more. I learned that me, the real me, not just my body, but deeper than that, my personality, myself, my sense of humor, my dreams, my desires, everything that made me me, I forgot about. It was left behind because I just needed to follow this map to get to the perfect body. And I was so focused on where I was going that I forgot who I was. Sometimes you want ice cream and sometimes you want calm on olives. You know what I mean? And so if you feel like you've lost who you are too, if you feel like you've gotten lost on the way of trying to follow this map, that it's okay, I have been there too. And you don't have to go that way anymore. You can throw away the map and you can go a different in a much better way. I just think the key is to never ever give up, to not get so discouraged that you've been going the wrong way for so long that you forget that you can turn around and that there is hope. Outside. Ooh, smell it. Oh, I know you did this. Alright, let's see him outside. Cheers. Here's a bit. No, you. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little mini baby volcano. Yeah, it's a little baby volcano. Three, two, one, go. Mm. No. This is what happens when I branch out. <laughs> you spilt your cupcake in here. I picked up the bag. <laughs> Come on. You are reckless. Oh my gosh. The bag ripped. <laughs> so this is why I don't clean the car. She says, you should clean the car. I can't believe it. It's a chocolate banana paleo muffin. I'm not really in the mood for it. Really? Mm -hmm. You want it? After I ate the macaroon, I'm just good. It's really good though. Cool. I just. It's a win-win. Yeah, both. It's a win-win win. -win, -win. Gluten-free. I just ask what's good and I follow. I follow whatever's good. That is amazing. It's like a gluten-free pie. Like a savory pie. It is a gluten-free pie. <laughs> You're my favorite thing ever too, babe. I still get jealous. <laughs> I still get jealous. <laughs> so I said you wish for the rain. Do you even notice what I'm trying to say? If I gave you the ocean, you complain about the waves. Our bodies are temporary. They're kind of like a tent. The purpose of going camping isn't to have a perfect tent and to make sure that dirt never gets inside the tent and to make sure that it never rains and that you never get dirt in there. The point of camping is camping. I just don't want us to worry about something that's so temporary that we miss what matters the most. Eating my raw carrot. Carrots help basically get rid of endotoxins in your body. Even if you don't love carrots, it's a good idea to eat a raw carrot every single day just for the sake of your health, so.
just don't want you to miss out on how beautiful life really is. It doesn't have to be perfect to enjoy it. In fact, I think that perfection or this idea of perfection can rob us of really just enjoying what matters the most. So don't miss it because you don't need to look into a mirror to see just how amazing life really is. Does it matter what you say? Cause now that I don't have it, I only miss it every day. I mean affection. Does it matter what you say? Cause now that I don't have it, I only miss it every day. Jesus like going for hikes too. Why did you just Mount say? of Transfiguration. Jesus liked going Jesus for hikes. Jesus liked going for hikes. He did. Wow. I proposed to Cam right, right there, and I asked her out right over there. Aww. By how far our relationships come, we can look back and remember. Are you still terrified? Every day. <laughs> and how that journey, how long that wait was, the yeah. waiting of finding the right one, years, mm -hmm. to the weight of building up the courage to ask her to be marry me. Sitting right here, looking down, we have a different vantage point, waiting for the right one, waiting for the right job. And I'm watching people walk on the beach right now. When they look out to the ocean, they just see the waves coming in. They see the whitewash. They see yeah. the waves forming, breaking. We only see what's right in front of our very faces. But the cool thing is this, when you kind of get above life down there and you get higher up where it says he's set me high upon a rock and now he lifts my head up over my enemies. So don't get mm -hmm. stuck just looking up, lifting your head up enough to see your problem, your enemies, mm -hmm. but lift it higher to him. Oh, I love and it's a good, that. It's a good reminder for that. Give up. That's cute. You're nice. You're so full of love and wisdom. You're so cute. Are you still filming me? <laughs> look, look at her. So cute. So hot. So sweet. And I dropped something. I see you better to meet me in your car. I know you didn't have to try. I can't even see it. I could eat a hundred pounds of ginger. Can I eat your ginger? Okay, I was like, don't you dare. I don't like spicy food, but I love ginger. I wonder why that is. So I apologize for taking all this time back. One thing I notice in our relationship is we never ever fight over where to go to eat. Never. Argue. Never have our other issues, but <laughs> picking up where to go to eat is definitely not one of them. <laughs> okay. Ew! We're gonna get why did you do that? I don't know. <laughs> Bo got his boba. Bobo and his boba. <laughs> Bobo and his boba. <laughs> when I was a little girl, my mom would take us to this tiny little shop that was owned by the sweetest people ever and they made authentic Thai iced tea. When I was a little girl, like little girl, we would, after school, she would take us and we would go get boba. But I never liked the boba. I only liked the Thai iced tea. So I would just get the Thai iced tea. Okay, the persimmon, I'm gonna try it. Here we go, from a few weeks ago. Is it no, it actually tastes a lot better. Is this wrong? Is this not? It's not rotten, man. This is right. It looks like you got it out of a dumpster. It's a lot better than it was weeks ago. Looking from your telescope, take me on this journey home. I don't want to wait. I just really want to remind you that you are amazing, and all of the dreams and the desires and everything inside of you, you can absolutely achieve anything and everything that you put your mind to. You are so much more than your body. God has created you so beautifully in your sense of humor and your smile and just your personality, who you are is beautiful. And I want you to know that. It don't really matter where we stay. Don't Jesus and coffee is pretty accurate. <laughs> yep. There we go. Jesus and coffee. Well, Jonah and coffee, but you know. 
And I know it can be scary when you let go of that map that has always told you what you should do and how you should eat and how you should work out. But I want to remind you that there is so much freedom on the other side of that in the surrender, in the letting go of these rigid, harsh rules. And you don't need to be afraid because God has already placed inside of you the perfect way, the best way, the most freeing and liberating way, the way of grace and the way of love because it's the best way. It's been a while since we've gone for a run. Time for a sunset run. Let's go. We missed the sunset. Yeah. Very cold. I know. You better start moving. It's freezing. <laughs> oh, you good? Yeah. Way to start the run. So long, silent movies, and all the talking in between. Box and fixing broken tape machines. Wasn't much of an actor, was I? I ain't much of anything at all. But I can't see those murky lights that are hanging on the wall. We finished our sunset run that turned into a rain run. That was fun. Running in the rain was fun. Yeah. But I swear I've seen my share of black and white. that driftwood out in the ocean. Don't drift. Okay. Y'all know this one. I love that I'm one. <gasps> no! I'm, I'm oh. playing. <laughs> I got you good. Oh We're not created to perfect our own... Oops, sorry. <laughs> We're not created to perfect our image, but to reflect his image. I'm so glad you guys are loving it. Oh. I ain't never gonna talk. Oh, oh, in my eye. <laughs> I know, it flew on my hand. Let's walk to the ocean together. Let's go walk over there. Let's go walk and then go pee. I can't. Let's walk and pee. <laughs> oh, we can't do that. 